Tell me what's going to happen in Toronto on March 15th, 16th, and 17th. So people will go. He's there, this guy from South America, Juan. Uh, and and it's, I, of course, in, South, in Brazil, it's a much, it's the whole town. And everybody wears white, and there's all these little casas. And, but what's going to happen in Toronto? Well, it, he makes it very similar to the casa. He comes in the day before, and he sets the energy. But it's a hotel. It's a hotel. It's actually rented the entire convention center. Oh, it's and what, the Toronto Convention the, Center? Yeah, the Toronto Metro Convention Center. Oh, okay. It's attached to the Intercontinental Hotel. Okay. And um, he comes in, and he sets the energy to make sure that it's only good spirits. Right. And that they're all coming with him. Okay. And that's why he doesn't want any other conventions or anything going on. Everybody does wear white. Mm -hmm. um, they split them into two groups, the morning and the afternoon group. So the people that see him in the morning then meditate in the afternoon. Okay. And then the other way around for the other people. So everybody gets to go in front of John of God. Mm -hmm. So when they're not in front of John of God, there'll be uh, music and, and talks and meditations. Mm -hmm. I'll be leading some of the meditations. Mm -hmm. And that's all about kind of helping you to raise your vibration, mm -hmm. kind of get ready. Mm -hmm. But while you're there in that main hall, there's mm -hmm. actually thousands of spirits already working on people. Really? Because I did, didn't feel that so much at Omega. I only felt the spirits in the current yeah. it, room itself. And there will be a current room there. Yeah, and you know, but different people deal, feel different things. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's not always what you're expecting. Right. But you hold the intention in your mind what it is. You know, if you go that you want healed. What you want healed. So I, yeah. if people are going for three days, and I suggest really, if you can, go all three days. Because mm -hmm. maybe the first day you want to hold the intention of physical things you have wrong. Maybe mm -hmm. the second day more emotional things. Maybe the third day you want to work on friends and family. Okay. So you hold the intention of what, what it is you'd like a healing for. Mm -hmm. And as you go in front of the spirit, um, you're wearing white. That helps them to read the energy. They read your energy and they do change your energy as mm. you go in front of him. So it will be just as powerful almost as going to Brazil? Oh yeah. It will? Oh yeah. Okay. In fact, he was in um, Switzerland a few mm -hmm. months ago. And they said uh, King Solomon came through. Uh huh. And uh, they were kind of worried about him because as he went to incorporate, he was taking a long time, you know. And then his eyes roll back and they mm. come through, and his eyes are blue. His eyes are normally brown and they change oh, color. Oh, really? It's kind of this aura. But it was King Solomon that came in. And as people were coming up, you could see them. Mm. They were coming up in line, and, you know, maybe their shoulder didn't work. And mm. as they came up, they were like, wow. My shoulder wow. was, and people were getting up out of the wheelchairs in line as they came up to him. They were just, he was tossing the wheelchairs and the, and the walkers people, to really? the side. Yeah. That's very dramatic, yeah, incredible. And, and in the afternoon, mm -hmm. <laughs> they had um, a different spirit, uh, Jose Valdivino, and he just was passing everybody by. And they said, mm -hmm. sir, is everything okay? You haven't asked anybody for extra spiritual mm -hmm. intervention? He said, oh no, King Solomon healed everybody this morning. <laughs> I don't have any work to do. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Well, so, so in Toronto, people will go yes. in front of him and they'll hold the intention. And that may, the energy right there, will e he'll either say, okay, I've done it. I've, mm -hmm. I've done the healing. Mm -hmm. Or he might say, um, I need you to come for a spiritual intervention. And we'll do the invisible surgeries. We'll mm -hmm. take them in another room and do like a meditation. And then those people will be told mm -hmm to go home for the rest of the afternoon and rest and then they can come back the next mm -hmm. day. And he works, and when I was at Omega, he worked, he did surgeries, etheric surgeries on probably at least half the crowd at least, you know, or more maybe, it seemed like, right? I mean, what's... Sometimes, you know, the spirit thinks that when you come up and see him that mm -hmm. he's already done the work and it's fine mm -hmm. and they know and if you need extra work, then they do. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we'll have the crystal beds there that what's we have that? in Brazil. Um, there are these like light beds, like oh. lights that come through crystals, uh -huh. and at any time you can go sit on a crystal bed, and they're amazing. You, you lay wow. on the bed on like a massage table for about 30 minutes, wow. and you, you get visions, you get all kinds you of things. You do. Like, yeah. Oh, that's so yeah. everyone who shows up is at least going to feel something, probably, Most hopefully. Most people if feel if it, but yeah. you know, they'll see the changes afterwards. I mean, sometimes you think, well, not much happened, and then the thing that you asked for mm. just comes to pass. Wow. Pretty miraculous. This is a great undertaking you're doing bringing him to Toronto. I mean, I know you expect thousands of people, hopefully, and, yes. and there is room for thousands of people. So what do you think will be the benefit of, you know, to the planet and to individuals because of this event? I think that this is about, it's not about you go see somebody, he heals you, and then you're done. It's about an opening in you. Mm -hmm. And I think there'll be people there that are healers themselves that are going to open up. People say mm -hmm. they become more psychic when they go to these, uh, these mm -hmm. John of God events. I think that people will receive that soul healing, and then they are going to pass that on to other people. Mm -hmm. So where are you now in your journey? Where do you, 
Where do you see your future as a healer and a medium? Um, well, I love to write books and I mm. love to teach people. And, and that's really my main focus is to help people connect. We, mm. You know, some people may find it easy to go down this route, another may find this way. And I like to help people to discover what it is that really opens up them and mm. allow them to do it. Because we've all got this inside us. We mm. can all do this. Mm. <laughs> Thank you so much for you. bringing your energy and your enthusiasm <laughs> to the show and to the planet and to help people. Uh, so if you're interested in coming to see John of God in Toronto, the site is johnofgodlive.com. And my site is just my name, gailthackray.com. And you can find lots of information on both of those sites. And thank you so much for having me today. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this is Alan Steinfeld for New Realities. If you are interested in seeing more about what I do, go to newrealities.com. Email me at newrealities at earthlink.net. Thanks for watching.